My name is Joshua Vicente, and I go to Hills Church. I just want to say that uh, all praise and glory uh, belong to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And without Him drastically changing who I was uh, and everything that I thought I was, and I would not be here today. My, my first time in church uh, and coming to a church was in uh, 2021, and that was at Hills, Hills Church. So Easter Sunday in, in 2021 was my first day walking in, into any kind of church. And I was so nervous, I was so afraid because from what I've seen growing up and from what I, what I witnessed growing up, I had so much expectations built up for what I thought it was supposed to be. And, and my wife, she, she said, just go as you are. You know, I, I came with expectations, but when, when I left and after the worship and after the sermon, uh, it, it really opened my, my horizon and my, and my life into maybe this is something that I can keep doing. And this is the direction that I can keep going because I, I hear I hear something now. The pandemic really opened up a lot of questions in, inside myself and uh, in my life. And it was a, toward the end of 2020 when um, I began to hear God's voice. I began to feel Him whispering in my life. Uh, and, and that whisper came in sermons and messages that were from Hills Church. I was angry with God when I was younger. I was, I was, I was angry with the situation that I was in. I was, I was frustrated with you know, where I was. I felt life was unfair and, and I was going through life alone. That was what drove me uh, was my pride and my own strength. and my own understanding of things. Coming into Easter and uh, coming into, you know, hearing God's voice, it was terrifying because I wasn't sure if I could trust that was coming over me. And, and you know, it was new. It was a new feeling and, and a new experience. But, you know, God, God has been faithful and he's been um, patient with me uh, in my time. You know, being, being here on Easter and the things that led up to to me getting baptized. Uh, I also was a part of the marksman group that year, uh, really focusing on uh, you know, how to hone in on what God has uh, for me in my life, His will for my life. Being surrounded by um, you know, godly men who were there to influence and provide gui guidance in my life, uh, and, and to hear and share God's word with people uh, as you're walking, uh, and especially somebody new to the faith. So those things have been really uh, a driving force and supportive to, to continuing to walk in the faith and understanding the, the trials that you know that I have in my life and accepting the grace that God has for me. So, you know, all of these feelings and emotions that came uh, with this walk, it was it was difficult because you know God was really tearing apart who I was. He was breaking down walls. He was, you know, destroying my idols that, that I had placed in my life. He was making me see and realize who I was and that I was not healthy. I was not, um, you know, living life. I was angry and, and I was an alcoholic. I was, I was suffering and, and, and healing myself with alcohol and, and covering my scars that I had. But when, when God came into my life and, and He was walking with me through these fires that I was going through, these purification fires, these, these things that, that were, were tearing down the old me, uh, you know, it was definitely something that I was not happy with. Uh, I, I kind of struggled and fought with God in a lot of this. But I'm so thankful that I, I did fought and I, I did struggle because I learned so much and, uh, and been able to accept his grace that he has. And that's the biggest gift that I, I feel that he's really given me was accepting his love. Uh, overall, this love that I thought was there, this love that the world says um, I should provide for you, and you know, just accepting who, who God is, it's been a, a big blessing, and, and that's really what led me to uh, you know, giving my life and giving myself over to Christ. I'm very thankful for uh, the way that God moved in my life and how He's moved through people uh, here uh, in the church, in Hills Church, and the way that the Holy Spirit has guided people in, in position uh, to lead and serve uh, for His will and for His purpose.